Good morning, Nesafias. Happy Friday. It's Noel and Autumn here, here with your daily bulletin. Our sports schedule this week. Today, Lady Braves soccer versus West Las Vegas and Braves football versus Pewaukee. Tomorrow, high school and academy extravaganza. Lady Braves volleyball versus Tohachi and mid school volleyball versus San Felipe. High school students, you will be allowed to take your trays outside the cafeteria during lunch hour to sit at the tables in the high school plaza area. We are asking students to please be responsible and make sure that if you choose to eat outside, that you clean up your space, throw any trash, and return your tray to the cafeteria washroom. Please help each other make good choices so that we can continue to have the opportunity to demonstrate your pride for our campus. Thank you from Principal North. It's that time of the year. Get your flu and or COVID-19 vaccine vaccination on Tuesday, October 29th. Consent forms are required. Find the link for the con consent form on the weekly e-newsletter. Return all signed consent forms to students' health care staff ASAP. Sophomores and juniors, College Horizons is a six-day pre-college program preparing students for the college application process. Learn and connect with 70-plus colleges and universities. For more info, see Gladys Martin and Humanities 106. Thank, Thank you, Autumn and Noel. Staff and students, the Highway History Club is raffling off an Oglala Lakota Star Quilt on October 25th in the SFIS cafeteria during lunch. One ticket is $10 and three tickets will be $25. The money raised will... Help 31 SFIS sophomores go on a week-long trip in June next year. On the trip, the students will visit six different Native reservations as well as other points of interest, including Yellowstone National Park. Cafe Scientific. Our first Cafe of the Year will be held on Wednesday, October 23rd in Humanities Commons Room starting at 5.30 p.m. Guest presenter James Taylor will be there to play some fun math games. See y'all there. Congratulations to the 12 students who have been accepted into the Dream Makers program for the 2024-2025 school year. We will have a meeting on October 23rd at the beginning of lunch in MST7. Your attendance, your attendance is essential as we will be discussing field trip options. Please be sure to arrive on time. See you there. And for lunch today, we'll be having nachos or hot dogs, corn, fruit, salad, and milk. For today's weather, it will be a high of 62 degrees, 22 mile per hour winds, and a 20% chance of precipitation. Teachers, please open your Brave Connection slides. Thank you for watching. Before we leave, we'd like to share with you a video about the history of SFIS Feast Day. Filmed by Dwayne Joe, interviewed by Taft, and in collaboration with video, photography, and media production students. Before we start, here's a brief introduction. <laughs> Pai kiam si chang kash hapa nihano suta heng kukete me o suta. Sapapa katayats hapa nihano suta kuket kukiwa me o tsa. Hello everybody, my name is Abel Herrera and I'm from the Pueblo of Coach T. I will be introducing on the behalf of my grandmother, Abby Arquero. Abby Arquero has been a longtime friend, family member, and educator at the Santa Fe Indian School. In her early career, she worked with the Office of Planning and Evaluation here at SFIS and worked as the Director of Indian Education at Bernalillo Schools, where she also taught. She joined the SFIS Social Studies Department as a teacher in 2007, then went on to start the Culture Exchange Program in 2009. In the Social Studies Department, Abby ab advocates for the school to recognize the importance of resilience and cultural sur survival. She honored the ancestors by creating Pope Day through curriculum, assemblies, dances, and eventually the day became what we know now as annual Santa Fe Indian School Feast Day. We want to thank Abby for reminding us of our history, our resilience as indigenous people, and the continuation of our native cultures. This is why Santa Fe Indian School is a special place. I would like to personally thank my grandmother, Abby, for teaching me my language and history, and without her teaching me, I will not be where I'm at. Thank you. Going back to the early years of this particular feast day here at Santa Fe Indian School, I remember we called it Pope Feast Day and there was an official statement that was provided to administration and the school board why it was so important to recognize a special day for our ancestors, our tribal leaders, uh, the Pueblo Revolt leaders, uh, recognizing and appreciation for our culture and way of life that our ancestors fought for. 
and that it continues today because what I see today makes me very happy because I see a lot of young people doing the songs and the significance of the songs are the prayers and the history there in itself and the young people that are dancing. And it's such a joy to see what's happening out there today because that's exactly what we wanted to see when this feast day rolled around. Regardless of what day, you know, it, it's our everyday life, but today, we're showcasing our students, and I'm so happy to see that Santa Fe Indian Schools and others that are invited here. But going back to its history, we're looking at um, probably what we see today probably goes back to 2013, when we finally got a full day and recognized by our Board of Trustees uh, as a Santa Fe Indian School Feast Day. Prior to that, we had called it Pope Feast Day. But now it was gonna be inclusive of all the Pueblos and the Hopi and our New Mexico tribes. And so it is because that's our population here at Santa Fe Indian School and we want it to be inclusive for this particular feast day. And inviting all the communities. And today what we see are our families, our friends, the elders, the students, the school children coming from elementary schools, they're looking up to us. They're looking up to you. They're looking up to, you know, identifying who they really are and who they can relate to. And we always have to show younger people that we are role, role models for them. Today I woke up, I was really excited and I'm thinking, so I wear on, you know, wear my moccasins and a traditional dress or what? I said, why are you asking yourself? Because when you were a teacher here on this particular day, you always made sure, I always made sure that I would tell the students, wear your traditional dress, wear your moccasins, be proud of that. So since then, in the early 2010s up to the present, the feast day has gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. People look forward to it. I absolutely love it. Um, you know, I worked with C Superintendent Kriya Veda. She was my colleague. We sponsored the Cultural Exchange. Uh, it was first the Cultural Exchange student that will help plan and do the work, but now all the student groups are part of that plan and all the student groups are working to make this happen. And it, you know, the students are so respectful and they reach out and they, you know, take care of us, you know, making sure we have uh, places to sit, looking out for us. And the cafeteria staff is pretty awesome because, uh, you know, it's one big family. The facility management, uh, the staff, and you know, it, you know, it's a day we look forward to. When I talked to Superintendent Kriya Beta, we, you know, it was like the 20th Pueblo Feast Day, and that's how, what it's turned out to be. It's very important because. It shows the resistance and resilience of our indigenous people. We can focus on a particular historical event like the Pueblo Revolt. We can focus on certain individuals that made it happen, our ancestors. But I believe that it's really, really important because it's a continued fight that if we're going to to survive as indigenous people if our culture and language and our way of life is going to survive, we need to work at it every day. You know, being a grandmother, um, you know, not only to my own grandchildren, but to all of you, it's my responsibility to continue um, teaching and mentoring and helping young people that they can also carry on the traditions and way of life. Yeah, and we are, what I see today is exactly what those students, families are doing. I mean, it makes my heart so 
joyful because it's not the students doing it. It takes the support of families and takes the support of the school for this to happen today. And when I watch the dances today and the prayers happening, there's always a grandparent, there's always a mentor, a teacher that helps uplift their learning. And when I see our fathers and our grandfathers singing for our young dancers and a few of those groups out there, I'm just so amazed that these grandfathers and fathers and uncles made the time to be here for their children. That's what I see. When I see the younger singers with the dancers, I see that they're compassionate. They're, they're very, um, they love their culture and their way of life. And they're showing us, they're singing. Former students of mine are there and supporting. In today's modern society, we, we have a lot of modern um, conveniences, uh, social media, our cell phones, and you know, we need to put those aside and come and visit each other. And what the community of Santa Fe will benefit from us is a greater understanding about our culture and our way of life and the history and the non native people that are here, I appreciate them because they also take the time to come and visit and befriend us and learn about us and to also support our families that are bending out there and making a way of life. You know, everybody in this circle right here benefits from each other's. I look forward to seeing, seeing my colleagues, uh, seeing students, seeing my family, former students, uh, friends from different pueblos. It's, not, it's a real feast day, you know? Friends and family coming from the northern pueblos, the southern pueblos, down towards Zuni and Hopi and the Navajo Nation and the Apache Nations. You know, it's so great to come back here. I look forward to seeing my friends and family and relatives. I also look forward to, to, enjoying, to enjoy the day with everyone. And I was hoping to go shopping, but I didn't make it out there. <laughs> my time here as a teacher, I think my greatest joy and my goal has been accomplished because where we are as a school now. Our superintendent, Kriya Beta, with her own mentorship from her own families, with our teachers here that are either native or non-native, add to that mix of who we are and who our students are going to learn from. And I believe that we don't do it by ourselves. We don't do it alone. Nobody cannot claim that what is today is because of one person. It's because of our families. It's because of our students. It's because of our whole community. Because for our love of our culture, love for our language, love for our traditions, and overall, such a beautiful place to be at today, Indigenous State.